truly is the real star of every Animal Crossing game and you cannot convince me otherwise. Madeline Miller, pop off, who is my absolute bae, Bob, I'm pregfic. Um, <laughs> and welcome to my channel or welcome back my name is Priyanka or PM in writing or on stage because I am a spoken word poet aspiring author and bookish content creator but I am also an animal crossing lover I have an animal crossing water bottle an animal crossing cup an animal crossing jumper the animal crossing switch and of course the animal crossing animal crossing game you get the idea. And recently I wrote a poem about Animal Crossing and I thought, you know, it's National Poetry Writing Month, which is technically Global Poetry Writing Month. This is the perfect time for me to combine my two favorite things, poetry and Animal Crossing once again. So here we are. Today I will be recommending you poetry books uh, based on your favorite Animal Crossing villager. Now there is way too much debate about what your favorite villager is and <laughs> I'm not here to debate. Um, I am just here to sprinkle in some poetry um, into your Animal Crossing life. I'm just gonna be using the Den of Geek uh, listing. I'm going to be doing number one to six. If you would like more, please comment below and let me know because um, I would very happily do more of these. Um, and you might be wondering, Prinka, why aren't you doing one to five? That seems like a nice round number. Um, and that is because this list includes Sheb, who is my absolute bae. I love her so much. And if you don't, you can leave this video right now. So without further ado, let's jump into these wrecks. So villager number one is Lucky. Now I never had Lucky in any of my Animal Crossing towns. And I have been playing Animal Crossing since Wild World. But having done some extensive research, I know his vibes are clumsiness uh, because of his backstory and the reason he's always in bandages is literally just because he's lucky to be alive because he's so clumsy which I find quite cute um, also ancient history slash like ancient Egypt we love those vibes right now Madeline Miller pop off and also laziness because of his personality type so because of that I feel like if you like lucky you would really like 10 poems about dogs. Now, I don't have 10 poems about dogs with me, but the 10 poem series is by a lovely press called Candlestick Press. And as you can see, it is so thin because I feel like if you like Lucky, you're probably very straightforward, probably, you know, also a little bit lazy, don't want to read a big poetry collection. So I feel like this would be perfect for you. So that's my recommendation for you. Coming in at number two is Bob. And oh my God, Bob. We love Bob. Bob is a meme. Bob is an enigma. Bob transcends Animal Crossing Villager. He truly is the real star of every Animal Crossing game and you cannot convince me otherwise. So the book that I would recommend for you is Slug by Holly McNish. Now, Holly McNish is an absolute wonderful human being and also a wonderful poet um, and the reason I'm recommending Slug is because firstly the covers match Bob could this not have worked out more perfectly and also uh, because I feel like Holly McNish's poems are quite playful there is a poem in here literally about that's like two lines that's something like it's her talking to her kid and being like I pushed you out my vagina the least you can do is give me some crisps and I'm like that is a piece of dialogue like i feel like if bob was a, a woman like uh bob and pregfic um <laughs> and could give birth that would definitely be something that he would say and i feel like that gives off bob vibes to me so slug by holly mcnish for bob coming in at number three is marshall right marshall feels like an enigma for the complete opposite reasons to bob like very chilled, very relaxed, it, and like is a little bit of a hipster and goes around telling people like, um, I like this thing before you did, but also trying to keep it very low key, you know? So if your favorite villager is Marshall, I would recommend uh, Depression and Other Magic Tricks by Sabrina Benham. Because <laughs> I feel like, at first I was like, mm, should I recommend Rupee Core? But I feel like uh, Sabrina Benham gives off enough 
vibes to be slightly different from Rupee Core, so all the marshals in this world can be like, uh, yeah, I liked it before. It was cool. Coming in at number four is Stitches, and what a what a cute little Stitches is so sweet and so adorable and just so wholesome. I could have given many, many recommendations for Stitches because he gives off like a really childish, fun vibe. But to make sure that Stitches doesn't get too sad or too bored, um, I would recommend um, for people who like Stitches. Dear Zula, I have a crush on Danny Phantom because I feel like if you like Stitches, you definitely like cartoons and this poetry pamphlet is another short one but it is so great um i raved about it in my previous video and it's essentially a collection of short poems well some are fairly long but like sh mostly short poems about 2000s cartoons like danny phantom and avatar the last airbender so that's my recommendation for you number five is meringue this recommendation is by far the easiest one i didn't even have to think about it that much um, because obviously meringue cooking those kinds of vibes and I think according to her wiki one of her goals is that she wants to become a pastry chef uh, which I find adorable so if your favorite villager is meringue you are probably also into cooking so I would recommend a recipe for sorcery uh, by Vanessa Casule because not only is Vanessa Casule a lovely person and poet this uh in her collection she breaks down the sections for like a recipe for x and she kind of plays off of the recipe style um of writing which i really loved and it is a great collection and of course at number six is chev now this is the one i have been waiting for <laughs> at the beginning of the video obviously i said that i love her she is my bae she is a person that came to my island and I didn't really know much about because she came like you know before you pick the villager and when like a random villager comes like she came then so I wasn't sure what she'd be like but oh my god did I fall in love with her she is so wholesome um she is quite literally like that friend who will be there for you all the time if I come home from work and I've had a bad day I know I can switch on Animal Crossing and Chev will just automatically make me feel better and this girl is on it she ha probably has a good reads she probably has a story growth. she is always reading coming to a house reading you go to her house reading sitting on the bench reading so I feel like if you like Chev you are the kind of person where you're probably also into reading maybe a little bit bookish um, but maybe you don't take enough time to look after yourself. You know, maybe you're the kind of person where you look out for other people, um, but you're not really, like, good at looking after yourself. Speaking as someone whose favourite villager is Chef. So, for you, I would recommend this amazing collection by Chronicle Press, which is called There Are Girls Like Lions, which is, like, an anthology, um, which is a collection of... Uh, poems about being women for women or for anyone who identifies as a woman or wants to be like yeah women and there are a lot of like well-known poets in here like Margaret Atwood and Emily Dickinson so I feel like the chefs of the world will appreciate that but also um, some other like not necessarily lesser known but like less famous poets for you to be introduced to. A lot of these poems are also very empowering and very wonderful. So that is my recommendation to you. So thank you so much for watching this fun little video. Um, please remember to like and subscribe if you liked it. Also to let me know if you would like more of this because remember there are 20 villages on that list. And remember to stay happy, stay hydrated, read poetry, and I will see you in the next video here on Poet Pre. Thank you.